So, you got the tools, you know the techniques, but your model is a little complex. Not a problem. If the target is big, start breaking it into smaller pieces. On screen is an enemy virus for an upcoming game, and it's got a lot going on. But like I said, the trick is to break it down. All of these little pieces of armor, those are gonna become little squares on the map, just like I showed you in the last two videos. The problem most people have is when you get to the body. So how would you start to break a model like this down? Well, the answer is you would start making seams because seams mark the edge of your square maps. In order to know where you need to draw your seams, I recommend just looking at your favorite manga and notice where they draw the dark lines. Ignore the outline. Where do they draw the dark lines inside the body? Because that's probably where you are gonna need to mark your seams. Usually the seams tend to be where you find folds in the clothing and where the skin bends between the joints. If your character is female and wearing something tight, the seams are pretty much where all the bikini lines are. Otherwise, other common areas are the valleys of the collarbone, the dip of the neck, crevices between the fingers and joints for the knuckles are all places that you would normally find a seam. If we look back at my character, you can see I've marked the seams around all the biggest folds and valleys of the skin. So after the seams have been marked, you'll find that everything has been separated into different chunks. From here, when you unwrap these chunks into UVs, you square them up one by one separately with the tools we've went over from the last tutorials. So don't overthink it, square UV in complex models is really just the same as square UV in simple models. You just have to break it down into smaller parts with seams first. So as always, hope that helps. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.